Pass comes back to Kim. Kim looks through the crowd, gets the shot away. Primo made the stick save, and the rebound is knocked over to the boards by Gaudet, but the Eagles keep it in. Brassenden's line has been dominant against Gaudet's line here, moving the puck. Here's Kim, high slot. He plays it out in front of it's redirected wide. I think Primo may have gotten his toe on that one, Tom. Maybe at the last second there. Puck at center ice, carried in by Jesper Matila over to the left side. Shot goes wide. The big carom, and from a tough angle, it's shoveled towards the net. God dead down low. Stevens in the slot. Davies gets it back. Sakura skates over to the right side. 35 seconds gone. Redirected in front. Stevens will score. Power play goal. And just like that, the Huskies take a 1 0 lead. So we saw three different looks from Dylan Sakura on this power play, folks. The third one ends up being him acting almost as if up. Over. Coming all the way up to the point, gets the puck left for him, and he brings it down the wall. We saw him make a pass. We saw him make a sh take a shot in the second entrance. And then this time, see how he comes to the middle of the ice? Here he goes. It's the old wind-up on the power play. He's just going to wind up. Now get a little bit of energy. Now he's going to wait and see. He's going to hit the seam with the pass again. I can't emphasize it enough, Tom. His ability to pass the puck on the power play is key here. He ends up getting a lucky break off the stick of the defense. Fitzgerald, the goaltender. That was a good penalty, though, that, that was taken. That was one that had to have been. Puck is another opportunity, the high-flying opportunity flying in. The Eagles try to get control in the offensive zone. Instead, the Huskies will bring it out. Puck comes to Josephek on the left side. Played out in front, and a big save there by Wall as Hawkins teed it up, coming in on the right side. Third time. Ready tonight for the Huskies. Here we see Dylan Sakura again going up top. He's going to take himself away from traffic down low to come up and to regroup a bit and to see if he wants to go towards the middle. Does he want to come down the right side? When he went down the right side in the first period, his shot went up the stick of the defender Fitzgerald and passed Wall. That resulted in the one goal here. Fitzgerald is Nobody though there. in front. Big shot there from Fitzgerald off the side of the net. Again, Fitzgerald, top of the right wing, circle fires that one wide through the left. Good pressure here on the power play. 13 seconds remaining for the Eagles. Kim through Fitzgerald, a one-timer. College, guys leaving early, moving on. McPhee gets put into a role that, quite honestly, not many people probably would have expected. But TC, as you mentioned, as you see that kickback play, and then with good speed, McPhee comes down the left for this squad. Had the game winner against Northeastern in November, looking to get the equalizer here, but that pass was stopped. And now Gaudet is off to the races. Gaudet coming in. He takes the shot. Williams, the defenseman, in as well. Stevens sends it towards the net. The stop made. Sakura on the rebound. Plays it around behind the net. Rebound opportunity left there by Wall. Sakura turns, fires, rebound, score! Stevens gets the goal. And despite all the pressure from the Eagles, it's the Huskies with a 2 0 lead. On the power play. How much has Stevens been a presence in front of the net? A few times this period. Well, at even strength, too, this is where the big guy, we talked about him in the open, perhaps doesn't get nearly the amount of attention, despite the fact he's the captain of the team, as he's part of this threesome that is just spectacular. Puck's working to the front. Gaudet's already there. Now, here comes Sakura. Here goes Stevens, 21 to the front of the net, waiting and waiting. Sakura knows that he has presence here. He knows that he's got at least two bodies. Andrew Raycroft talking along with Coach Cahoon there. Talked about how Caden Primo, near the end of the intermission, you know, just stay focused, clean that area up. I, I like the way that he moves. I like the way that he finds pucks. He keeps his chest upright. He doesn't get himself leaning down low. It's going to work its way to the other side. 17 and White Cotton is going to realize he needs to get to the front of the net. The pass over. The quick shot. Now Cotton's ready for a rebound. Perhaps needs to get in the eyes. And Little forward there. He gets help from Hutsko. They play it back for Fitzgerald, but it was picked off and carried out by Sakura. Two on one shorthanded. Sakura keeps it. Now plays it towards the net. And Wall somehow laterally. Caden Primo yet. Davies hustles over and keeps it in the zone, gets it over to Stevens, who will try to play it in deep. Instead, it bounces out, and he comes into the zone. High slot, kicks it to the stick, save, rebound, score! Goddamn! Makes it a 3-0 lead, and Husky Nation comes alive here in the Garden. This game, it totally came down. 
to who's winning the front of the net battle. Boston College never got enough bodies in front of the net. Meanwhile, Northeastern, whether it's Stevens or Godnet, they're getting bodies to the front of the net. This is all is a great keep in by Jeremy Davis. He's had a real beautiful game. The puck is patiently held on by Stevens. He's going to get it back, and who owns the front of the net right there? Adam Godnet. Stick is on the ice. Puck caroms to him perfectly. Wall can't control that first shot, and the rebound goes right to Godnet on his. That's academic at this point. Four seconds remaining on the clock. The faceoff will come in the BC end, and Northeastern will head to the championship game. A little bit of pushing and shoving at the end of this. And they will be separated, and they mob Caden Primo. A 37-save shutout in the first semifinal of the 66th Beanpot. The freshman was outstanding tonight, and the top line for the Northeastern Huskies proved to be the top players on the ice. 3-0 Northeastern wins. They move on to the championship game. Well, the top.